The thing that inspires me to create art is sort of like an itch inside where things bubble up and you just have to get it out. So it's really a way of speaking in a way that you can't with words. So being able to actually move it kind of out of my hands, out of my body, onto paper where I can then either pass it on to someone else or uh, hang it up and kind of look at that as well, that's something that, that was and isn't in me anymore. So it's kind of it's kind of a therapeutic thing, but also about just removing ideas and making them tangible. My motivation for doing paintings usually comes from an idea. I'll see a photo or I'll have a conversation with someone and when I, I sort of close my eyes and I see sort of the way that they're it sounds totally hokey, but the way that their energy is moving at the time and the way that they're relating to the things around them and I get sort of a snapshot of something and so I'll either sketch it down or sort of write what it was and uh, when I come back and I put it on paper and that's how I end up with things like this. <laughs> I really love watercolor because it's a medium that just doesn't want you to control it and you you really have to make friends with it and sort of negotiate where you want it to go and a lot of people think of watercolor as this very you know, thing that your grandma does and it's very loose and there's lots of uh, the pigment pushing into other places to get the sort of blobs so for me it's a challenge to make it look kind of as real as possible it's about being able to control something that doesn't want to be controlled and so when you when you end I always finish something and I'm like hey I did that like I that came out of me. And you know, every time you do a new painting, you're a little bit better than the last time you did something, ideally. Sometimes you do things that aren't any good. So every time you finish something, you get even more of a sense of, you know, wow, compared to 18-year-old me, I can actually make things that look like things. And it's very satisfying every time. <laughs> Hi, my name's Amanda McQuaig, and I'm a watercolor painter. The social interaction at Hot One Inch is uh, unlike anything else I've been to in Vancouver because you always have an excuse to talk to someone. 